Now, many people go networking for networking's sake and waste an awful lot of time. But the truth is, you know, with a bit of analysis, we can identify where we should network. How would you say is the best to go about vetting the best networking groups for you? Because you've said it yourself, you know, you, you don't want to spend an awful lot of time um, going to a networking group for networking's sake and making a lot of really nice friends, but no business being transferred between the people. So how, how would you vet um, a networking group, maybe in the first couple of meetings that you have with them to see if they're the right people for you? Well, let's start before then. Before that, I would, I would actually, you know, Google and the internet are a wonderful um, resource. So I, I'd look at the, um, the background of the group, whoever it was. I'd find out as much as I can about it online. Who are their target market? Who are the people that are members? Um, how often do they meet? What, what, what's their ethos? What's their, do their morals, does their, their ethics, do they align with mine? Mm. That's firstly. Then secondly, obviously, once they pass that test, I then need to visit. So I need to visit because, you know, although um, there's some large organisations, every individual group has its own character, its own energy. So that has to fit with me as well. And then once I've visited and I still like it, I need to then try and gauge, well, what, what are the, um, what do other people within this group, what do they feel about the group? So for me, I'd be phoning some individuals up afterwards. Just asking you, hi, Ashley, I see you, saw you this morning in the, um, the meeting. It was nice to see you. Um, can I ask you how long you've been part of it? How did you find it? Mm. Have you had much out of it? Are you looking forward to getting much out of it? Are you positive about moving forward? You know, all those sorts of questions, three or four people, just to give me an understanding, of, am I joining or am I thinking of joining the right network? So it's definitely all about doing the research beforehand and then being brave enough to ask the questions to people already there to see if you get that feel. Hundred um, percent. You know, for me, it's you know, they who whatever network it is, providing I'm of decent character and I've got a decent business, will want me to be part of it. Yeah. So really, I, I have the power. I have the power to. I'm looking to join something, but I have the power to decide which. So I want to get it right. I want. It's down to me to do my own research and make sure it is the right room for me. Yeah. I think um, it's a spot. I think it's a to be an I say something like um, you need to find the right room and the right people or something like that. I can't quite remember the saying, but I I know from personal experience that you really really have to go to, to a few different networking groups in order to find a place that works best for you, and don't always stop with the first one that you go to, because especially if you're brand new to networking there are so many different groups out there and so many different ways in which you can you can network that to stop at one is a real disservice to yourself because not one not one group is the same and, and i know you can go to different bni groups which are totally different to each other and I, i've seen them and it, it's some of them are just parallels apart and yeah. you wouldn't think that from a franchise but no it, it's the case um yeah. So well, I think so. It, it depends on your own personality because yeah. these networking groups are different sizes, different energy. And for me, um, it, it's not definitive, but a rule of thumb would be, you know, if I'm experienced in business and I'm confident, I want to join a smaller group where I can actually have some influence on how we grow. Um, I can perhaps play a bigger part in, and become a... a um, a big player in the room and be seen as somebody of um, standing. Whereas if I'm younger in business and new and maybe a bit quieter at that point, and I'm generalizing here because we're not all quiet when we're young, obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Quite often it takes a little while for us to, to <laughs> step into our shoes. Yeah. I might want to join a slightly bigger group where I can, um, you know, there's, there's referrals in the room and I'm still new in business. I'm finding my feet so I can, you know, I can already be amongst people that are established and learn from them. 
it's about my own character because it's flip sides you know you you can join a small group and you as even as a young person and relatively inexperienced can grow with the room mm. as well so it, it's our own personalities you know if i'm tired and timid and, and um i don't want to be going in a room with a hundred business owners and get up and speak because i'm going to be shaking my boots yeah. that's not going to be the right room. But if I'm an extrovert and I'm out there and I'm happy, why not? 